This is the sharp looking, economical and practical Ford Fiesta. Looking at the front of the car, it now has a facelifted, sharper grille that looks a bit like an Aston Martin's plus nicer curved lights as well. Near the back of the car, less has changed, but it still looks nicer than before. Here in the front, there's loads of room for two passengers. You do not feel cramped at all. The interior is very nice to look at and feels very, very upmarket, but not as upmarket as a Volkswagen Polo. There's plenty of places to store your things down below by the gear stick and also drink holders and things for uh, storage oh. for everyday stuff down here as well plus another drinks holder below there also there's big door bins on either side plus a massive glove box even the entry level model comes with a nice center console screen there's plenty of adjustment in the steering wheel you can move it up and down and out and in in the back there's plenty of knee room for any adult of any height i'm sure and also plenty of headroom as well there's one disadvantage though of being a back seat passenger this is the only storage you get it's a seat pocket but it's very very shallow there's no side door bins to put any of your stuff in the boot is not the biggest in class however there's loads and loads of room for all your stuff now obviously I can't drive this car, I'm only 15 years old, however I've heard that the EcoBoost engine is really good. It's really powerful, however it's dead economical as well, it does plenty of miles to the gallon. Also it drives really fun, the Fiesta is the um, most fun super mini to drive in its class. Technology then. Well you get uh, an auxiliary hole where you can if you've got a lead you can plug your phone in and stream music from your phone or iPod to through the car speakers. Also on the right hand side is a USB input so you can charge your phone as well if you have a smartphone that's compatible with that. Also as in most new Fords you get these big sporty clusters over here. Also here in the front uh, to wind both the windows down, you only have to push it once oh, and the window winds down automatically without you having to hold your finger down. You just go like this and the window goes up automatically. And finally, you no longer have to upgrade to the top spec titanium model to be able to get the wing mirrors in when you lock the door. The Ford Fiesta then. Practical, good looking, and over 60 miles per gallon. However, room in the boot can be an issue. None of those disadvantages should, should put you off buying the Ford Fiesta. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more video reviews of cars of all ages and my second channel, Prisa TV.